hello my people good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time uh you are not late because i just started please subscribe to my channel press the bell next to you so that every time i put something on youtube it will come to your phone you will just hear it you say hey hey jane has come again Thank you, thank you, thank you, my people, for subscribing to my channel. Please support me. I love you guys. Encourage me to do what I do. I just finished um, a, a, a video about brother and sister. Uh, and I told you guys I will come back for the parent-in-laws. Yes, parent-in-laws. It's a big issue. It is a big issue. But hey, big things People talk about it. Let me tell you about parents' problem. Parents' problem, just like brothers and sisters, it depends on how you handle it. I had parents-in-law. Unfortunately, may God be with them and accept their souls. They are the sweetest thing in the world. I thought people have problem with their because people complain all the time about the bro uh, about parents in laws and all that i didn't have that when i came to that family i accepted them as mine so but let me tell you why i accepted them that's what works if you have a mother and a father because some families or some women let me just say some women some women said mm, I don't want to be married in a family where the parents-in-laws or the mother-in-law is alive. Hey, that's the worst thing I've ever had in my life. Why? Why would you say that? You are a woman. You're going to have children. Would you like for somebody who is marrying any of your sons say the same thing that they wouldn't want for you to be alive when they come to the family? So why would you wish that about your husband? And if you love your husband that much, why would you wish that for her parents to die before you come in? So what do you want come there do if you want her parents to die? God forbid somebody thinking that, but I've had it. So many people have said it. You know why? Because some parents-in-laws can be a pain in the back. And some uh, wives can be a parent in the back too. And I will tell you why. The parents being a pain in the back is because of their son. Their son don't have a bone in his back to tell the parents, cut it out. Stop. This is my wife. If you use that word with power and said, this is my wife, mama, papa, biko, don't do this to my, to my wife. I don't like it. If you say it to them with your mouth, they will hear. But the wives come in and say something to your parents when they notice that you're not saying anything, that your parents will say anything to them and get away with it. Instead, you are, you are even quarreling with her because of what your parents are doing to her. They will come and report to you instead of trying to find out what's going on. You will fight her. Over what your parents are doing. My dear, you need to grow up. You're not grown yet. You are not grown at all. Because if you are grown, you will know that you are, this is your wife. That you're going to be with in the house. That you're going to be staying with. You're going to have children by. And you want your papa and your mama to come and tell you uh, what and what to do. That means, you know what they are telling you? They know. They will not tell you. They know you are not grown. Because if you are grown, you will not allow them to be managing your house. Who manage their own? You mean they live their own life and they want to come and live yours too? No. Put a stop to it. You are the problem. Not your mother and your father-in-law. But ladies, try your best to hold the peace in the house. I know it's tough sometimes. Especially when you have uh, somebody that is giving you so much problem. Just talk to, continue on your husband because he is the problem. If your husband put his foot down, 
that problem will stop. I had parents that lived in my house for a very, very long time. Very, very long time. Right here in U.S. Imagine, ima just imagine that. <sighs> I told my father, because now it's my job to tell my parents not to board in unless they are invited. If it's my brother or my husband's um, parents, it is his job to tell his parents. This time, it's my job. So I told my parents, I said, Papa and Mama, please, unless I come and tell you, do not burden. I wouldn't like for you to talk to my husband anyhow. This is his house. You are a visitor in his house. Don't try to tell him what to do in his house. He is a man of his own. Please, I don't want problem. Please, I beg you. <laughs> my father is a well-learned man. He took that advice to heart. He called his wife. He said, did you see what that child just said? I can't believe this is coming from my child. My mom said, because my mom is a quiet one. My mom said, yes, she's right. So until they stayed in that house, left, went back to Nigeria. We never said nothing to them. They did not tell my husband anything. They fell in love with my husband because they saw that he is a real man. He takes care of his house. So men, please take care of your house. Stop uh, pushing your, your problem or your responsibility to your parents. Because that's what you're doing. You're trying to make them enemy. You're trying to make great enemy between your wife and your, your parents. Why? Hey, come on now. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you put your foot down, if you put your foot down, your parents will never, 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 never disrespect your wife. And guess what? Then the love will come from the wife to your parents. My parents-in-law, I will do anything for them. You guys know me now. When I used to go with my red head and anything, I went home. My parents-in-law, my mother-in-law to be precise, she said to me, Hey, Nkem, she calls me Nkem. Nkem means my. Nkem, uh, this is your hair. I said, ah. Mama, I was carrying her in a car like this. I said, Mama, you like the hair? She said, Mwam, that's my daughter. Um, before she could even answer the question, I bought in and I said, Hey, Mama, I know you will like it. You know why I'm wearing it. My husband loved the hair so much. Hey, hey. She said to me, You mean Ibe loved this hair? I said, Yeah, no. That's why I'm doing it. Why do you think I'm doing it? I'm doing it because he likes it. So she said, Okay, mom. That means my daughter. If Ibe like it, I like it. Did you see how I use that little thing now? And bought the woman over. Until the woman died. She never did anything bad to me. So I cannot tell you that I hate my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law or my brother-in-law or my father-in-law because I have the same in my house. And my husband, as a man, put his foot down and know that he is the man. He is in control of his house, that nobody from his family will come and tell his wife, do this or do that, do that. Because she's not a, a slave. Even if she's a slave, I'm the one paying the slave. Not them. So, my brothers, again, this is your problem. Not your wife. Stop putting your wife in the middle of your problem. You are the reason why what is happening in your house is happening. And if you don't put a stop to it, you will never be happy. If you want to be happy in the house, yes, tell your parents to stop. And wives, please love your mother-in-law and father-in-law. Buy them stuff. Even if they say mm, they don't like you. You show them love, eh? You show them plenty, plenty, plenty love one day. They go like you. They not be devil now. They will like you by force. Whether they like it or not, they will like you. 
okay so let me not make this uh, video so much as things pro progress things come on whatever i remember about this uh, mother and father-in-law business i will still make it again and add things to it so please my people live in peace live in peace is not worth it life is too short to fight mother-in-law please leave your daughter-in-law take her as your child she will take you as her mother papa please take her as your daughter she will take you as her father the same way to the other family don't fight it's not worth it it's not worth it at all so husband do your job as a husband and if you don't do your job as a husband because you know when we women come into stuff the problem spreads don't let your woman come into that please don't do that because it's only because you're not talking that's why the wives are talking and if they continue to talk problem will continue to spread and rise so cut the problem please cut the problem okay cut it and as you're doing that god will bless you there will be family peace there will be very very good peace in the house and father-in-law and mother-in-law will visit and go sister-in-law's brother-in-law's will visit and go and everybody will have peace in the house again there won't be any problem life is too short if you can take anything from this please don't wish anybody anything that you won't want them to wish you don't wish your mother-in-laws to die don't wish your brother-in-laws to die because you have mother and you have brothers and sisters too many things are happening just love your husband husband please love your wife and talk to your people so that they can respect her it's because they're not giving her respect that's why she's acting up she's acting in anger you know when when we come and act our own now it could be we are trying to tell you that you be mumuda you're not doing your job that's what we're saying so my dear cut it out i love you guys with everything in my heart anything you want me to talk about put it in the comment section put it in my whatsapp page i will talk about it whether people like it or not i will talk about it and god bless you as you listen to me god bless you as you watch this video Shh, subscribe to my channel show it to people now eh? send it to them let them watch you did it didn't come from your mouth it came from somebody else's mouth when they hear it from somebody else's mouth they take it better than coming from your mouth so sometimes if it's the husband that's acting up put this video if it's the wife that's acting up put this video two of you are there to love yourself not to fight with the father and mother-in-law love your father mother-in-law with everything you got if you love your father and your mother-in-law your life will be long it's not worth fighting and i love you guys and uh, more will be coming your way i have one who won't get thing that i'm going to tell you guys <laughs> someday and as you leave god bless you subscribe to my channel Mwah!